which in any case is very dubiously founded in the New Testament. It puts the emphasis not on supernatural belief, but on morality. It suggests that some Christianity can be, can be made compatible with the scientific revolution, which was a major force behind the Enlightenment. I need only name Isaac Newton. And it also means that you could be a Catholic and enlightened. You could even be a Jesuit and enlightened. There was a strong movement in, in the Catholic Church to play down um, observances and practices they were thought to be, to be superstitious. For example, the maintenance of, of shrines, the belief in miracles, pilgrimages to holy places, to put much more emphasis on morality and pastoral care, and to make um, church services more, uh, more orderly. Anyway, the Catholic Enlightenment was a <coughs> significant movement. Um, skepticism, yes. A distrust of the supernatural and a, an emphasis on, on morality uh, were very important. And along with that, of course, went the historical study of the Bible. This was pioneered, ironically, by the French Catholic priest Richard Simon in the late 17th century. The text of the lesson, <coughs> once you start analyzing the text of the New, of the New Testament, let alone old, you find an immense number of varied readings.